Hello and welcome everyone. Welcome to another episode of Lunch with Lisa. The world is a little crazy these days, but is it? I want to remind everyone that the rainbow comes after the rain and the healing comes after the disease. So I am Lisa Warner. I am the author of The Simplicity of Self-Healing and creator of Conscious Self-Healing, a six-week program to help you take your health back into your own hands. So today, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the age of Aquarius and what's going on in the world. This is not a political talk at all, but let's take a look at what's actually going on in the external world, because on the surface, things look a little grim. It looks crazy and chaotic and there's division, but let's look from a broader perspective. Let's see what's actually going on and see how it relates to us in our own personal healing journeys, because everything relates to us, <laughs> okay? So this time has been foretold for centuries, thousands of years, in fact. The Mayan calendar ended in 2012 because the Mayans could see that there was going to be a massive shift in humanity, that we would come to a, the end of a cycle. And they didn't predict what was going to happen because they couldn't predict that at that time because we are creating it now. So this, what is going on from a broader perspective is that we are moving from one cycle into another. We are moving from the third dimensional layer of consciousness into the fifth dimension, into this age of Aquarius. In the past, in the previous cycle that we have, we are leaving the previous cycle and we have just stepped into this new cycle in the age of Aquarius. The old cycle was a cycle of division is called the, the fall of consciousness and humanity went to sleep and forgot their true nature. But what does this really mean? Okay, as, as humans, we are body, mind, and soul, all three parts of one. However, for ages, we have been operating as the mind not as the soul. There has been a division, a split between the mind and the soul. The soul is the part of us that is infinite, that is connected to source. The soul has all the wisdom. The soul knows exactly what the score is. The soul operates in unity with the universe. It operates with the laws of the universe. The mind, on the other hand, doesn't work with the universal law. The mind works with human laws. What we're supposed to do, how we're supposed to look, how we're supposed to act, how we're supposed to earn our livings, how, what we're, who we're supposed to talk to, who we're not supposed to talk to. All of those are the human laws. When we operate as only the mind without the soul, we suffer. There is dis-ease within. That internal dis-ease creates physical dis-ease. Whether it's disease in our physical bodies or dis ease in our physical lives, having relationship problems or money problems or right relationships, you know, trying to figure out where you fit in as your job. Um, on a collective level, we see what's happening in with division within the collective right now, at least here in America. 
However, we are now leaving that old pattern of division. We are moving into this age of Aquarius where we are bringing body, mind, and soul back into alignment. Unity. Unity between the mind and the soul, which then brings about unity in the body. That is when everything is operating on the same page and we have health and well being because that's our divine blueprint. In the external world right now, we are seeing the division between the mind and the soul being played out as the physical reality. In our personal world, we see the, mind, the division between the mind and the soul played out in our physical bodies or in our physical life circumstances. But as these things play out in our lives, what appears on the surface isn't always as it actually appears. The one thing, the, probably the most important thing that I learned in my own healing journey was when I looked at the surface of things and I could see lumps and bumps and feel things inside and out and looked at my body and went, oh my God, this is terrible. I'm being attacked by this horrible disease. It was terrifying. But what happened was, as I was going through that storm in my own life, I got quiet and I went within and I started tapping into the wisdom of the soul. As I meditated, information would come in. I would start to be able to see from a broader perspective. And when I was able to see from a broader perspective, suddenly it was completely obvious to me that disease was not attacking my body. My body was simply sending me messages. I hadn't understood the messages until I could see that it was my body sending me messages, not being attacked by a disease. So as I weathered that storm in my life, I suddenly found clarity. I was able to see from that broader perspective. And as soon as I was able to see from the soul's perspective, everything changed. Suddenly, cancer was no longer the problem. It wasn't a problem at all anymore. Suddenly, with that problem out of the way, I could start just trusting my body because it was completely obvious to me that my body was going to heal itself because that's the design. When you break a bone, the bone, the bone mends. When you cut your skin, it heals. Like, it's completely obvious that our bodies have the innate ability to heal themselves. But in order to, to experience that healing, the only way healing can happen is if there is a dis-ease to begin with. The only way we find the rainbow is to go through the storm. It rains first and then the rainbow appears. By going through the storms of our lives, what storms have you gone through in your life that you've already come out the other side? And how does it feel when you come out the other side? and you've conquered something, you've mastered a skill, you've, you've fixed your finances, you've healed your body, and now you have more wisdom. How does that feel to come out of the storm on the other side? For me, I wouldn't give up that experience of having cancer for, for anything because that was the storm that I needed so that I could heal permanently. 
that cancer would never bother me ever again. It would never enter my life because I could see through the illusion. As we enter into this age of Aquarius, we are entering into the time where separation falls away. We are not meant to live separated. We are not meant to have the mind and the soul separated. When the mind and the soul are separated, it plays out in our physical reality as storms. But now, as a collective, we are moving back into unity. Humans are waking up all over the world. People are starting to realize, wait a minute, I am more than just this body. I am more than just this personality. I am the infinite being. I am my soul. I am the infinite being in the physical body having an experience. But as the soul, we have the ability to consciously create our lives. And when we consciously create our life, the life that we consciously create is amazing. Because what is it that we want? We create the things that we want. When we're conscious creators, we consciously create the things that we desire. We let our dreams manifest. We create the things that we dream, the things that we desire, that we want, that we like. And what is it that we want? We want health. We want happiness. We want friendship. We want to live in peace and ease and joy, harmony, abundance. And when we have that for ourselves, we want the other people around us to have that as well. When everybody has peace and ease and well being and abundance, then we can all live happily and healthfully. This is where we are heading. What is playing out in the reality is actually healing. It is the old dis-ease being shed light on. When our bodies go through healing, the reason that they're in the dis-ease to begin with is because we ourselves have been in a state of uneasiness, a state of dis-ease, trying to figure something out, trying to, we're mourning the loss of somebody, we're, we're, we're trying to figure out where we're going to get our, our rent for the end of the month. We're trying to figure out why did they do that to me? Whatever it is that we are worried about, our bodies are responding to that worry. But then when we stop worrying and we come to the conclusion and, and the rainbow appears, then that's when the healing happens in our bodies. But the healing part is actually the part that's uncomfortable. It's the part where the body has to restructure itself. So the actual act of the body repairing itself and healing itself is pretty uncomfortable. Think of it if you go out to eat and you eat some bad food. What does the body do? Well, it has vomiting, diarrhea, fever, aches and pains, hot, cold, <laughs> chills, fever. You know, that, the signs of food poisoning. But that's the body healing itself, re expelling the toxins so it can come back into balance. It's uncomfortable. Our bodies are not sick. They're actually expelling toxins. They're healing themselves. They're repairing the damage that was done, the, the whatever they were doing while they were trying to protect our, themselves during our emotional crises. So 
what happens to one on the individual level also plays out as the collective. We are one collective humanity. So humanity right now is in the process of healing the dis-ease that has been going on for centuries, thousands of years. We have lived in division. We have lived in separation, the haves and the have-nots, the rulers and the ruled. <laughs> that division, the inequity, the, the people that have billions and billions and billions of dollars and the people that have nothing. The inequities have to be resolved in order for all of us to live in peace and harmony and well-being. And this is what is happening on the collective level right now. So even though it appears to be chaotic and very, very unpleasant, try not to get caught up in the unpleasantness, in the division and separation, in the fear. When we go within and we start to connect inside to our own soul, the healing starts from within. And the collective of humanity is made up of all humans. In order to heal the collective, we have to heal ourselves first. As we each heal ourselves from the inside out, as we heal the split between the mind and the soul, when we stop looking at all of the bright and shiny things in the external world that distract us from the wisdom of our soul, the fears, the doubts, the worries, the shames, the blames, the guilt, that's all that third dimensional stuff. That's all the division. And that's all what happens in our rational mind. And it's what happens in the mind when it is separated from the love and the support of the soul. So to heal, healing is the process of bringing the mind and the soul back together. That is when the body realigns itself. And this is how the collective is going to realign itself. We are stepping into the age of Aquarius. We are moving away from the separation and the division. We are moving into unity. We are moving into peace on earth. And that peace on earth begins with me. Each and every me on this planet. So don't allow the shenanigans of the external world to throw you off balance. I know it's easier said than done. But when you turn your attention inside and you start connecting to the wisdom of your soul, everything changes. I call, I liken this to a, a fish tank scenario. The fish inside the fish tank, that, that aquarium is their entire world. They can't access anything outside of that aquarium because if they leave the aquarium, they're going to die. <laughs> okay, unless you're Nemo and then you go down the drain and back out into the ocean. <laughs> okay, but if from that aquarium, when, when I was living in that aquarium of the third dimension, and with the brain fog and the fear and the doubt and, the, and all of the thing, all of the struggles, looking at my physical body going, oh my God, this is bad. The way I got myself out of the situation was to realize that I was also standing outside of the aquarium. And when I could look from outside the fish tank at the fish tank, when I could look from my soul's perspective, 
at the human perspective, the story completely changed. Because the soul has a much broader, more accurate view. So remember, the rainbow comes after the rain. The healing, the well-being comes after the dis-ease. Allow the dis-ease to be. Start turning your focus within to the natural healing that shall occur as we bring the mind and the soul back together. I hope this was helpful to you today. If you would like to reach out to me, I am available. I am, my website is connectingyoutoyou.com. My Facebook group, thank you all for that are in my Facebook group called Soul Sourced Healing. This year, let's make this group the healthiest, happiest group of people on the planet. Let's actually heal ourselves this year. Are you with me? Are you ready? Conscious self-healing, my program will start 1st of February. So if you are interested in that, showing you how to bring the mind and the soul back together for ultimate well-being. Thank you so much for listening today. Until next week, create for yourselves a great week. Stay out of the rain and look for the rainbow. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.